In this lesson, we'll add a form on top of our listing that allows us to save new messages into the collection. And therefore that will get sent to the server. And also, uh, since we are updating the collection, also the user interface will change and we'll be seeing these new collections added, added in here too. So I'm gonna create a new template for the form and give it the name of new entry. So in this template, we will have a form and let's, let's give that form an ID. Let's call it um, entry form. You can really call these things however you want. Inside of the form, the only field we'll have, it's a, it's a text area. Let's give it also an ID, content, placeholder, of um, your message and text area, close it. Also, we need a button to submit the form. This button needs, button needs to be of type submit to do our submission, save and close the button. I've created the new, the new template and now I need to show it in here. I want to show it at the very beginning. So this will be ent new entry. That's the name of our template. Once we get the refreshed page, we'll see our message in here. This will submit a form, but that doesn't do anything yet. We're actually refreshing the page, which is something you don't want to do in single page applications. So what we need to do now is listen for an event, listen for form submission event. And when that happens, um, making it so that it doesn't do the default behavior. Instead, we will grab the content of this the value of this text area and save it into a new collection object, into a new element. So inside of our JavaScript file, see how we have all the helpers for our listing template. Templates can have list uh, helpers, but they can also have events. So we are gonna have up here events for for our new entry template. And the event that we want to listen to is submission. So we need to listen for submission, submit. But who are we listening for? Like which element is gonna get submitted? This one. So we need this ID. And you use a selector. So you enter the event and then you enter the selector. So this is normally a function that will receive an event as a parameter. When you don't want the page to be refreshed, you can do event.prevent default. And we need to insert here the content on of the content, the content of the content field in the database. So let's create a variable content. How can we select that? we can use a query selector, which is something that's part of JavaScript and that allows you to do selections jQuery style. So you don't need to know jQuery or use jQuery, although jQuery is available in Meteor, so you could, you, you could use jQuery, but wherever I can use native JavaScript functionality, I always opt for that because then it's future proof. As long as, it, as, as, long as jQuery works and it's not a deprecated feature, you can use it. Whereas if you get used to always using jQuery, you'll depend on external library that does things that the actual language provides. So let's grab the value of this, of this field and insert into the collection. So for that, this would be message dot uh, messages dot insert and then uh, the content is content. So we could have called this somewhere something else to make it if, if that you find that confusing you can call it C. Oops, not what we intended. Yep. And uh, we actually want to reset the form so that it, uh, it cleans again. It's clean again. So one way to access the form once you have event is to do event.target. So actually this needs to be docu either document.querySelector or event.target.querySelector. Let's do event.target because that gives us the form. So we are selecting only inside the form. 
and in here this gives us the form and then we do reset this is normal um, DOM manipulation with JavaScript there's no meteor in this there's absolutely no meteor in this so let's try it out this will be and uh, an awesome new message so let's see if that gets saved yep so it gets saved let's see what if we what if somebody else connects to this if this was deployed on the web and we had um, someone else using it uh, so a new incognito window to, to represent that scenario they could be uh, they could be even chatting like that and see how that gets reflected in all the clients so again we're sending stuff to the database to the server um, which is in our local host it's in our computer and that is, is sending data back to all of the connected clients so to summarize we've added a new template for our form we'll be using query selection so we need to add ids or classes the way you would do it you do it normally when you are not using uh when, when you're using just pure javascript or jquery so uh, we've got our form in here we're showing our form on top of the listing and then we are accessing the events of that template and the event that we're listening for is submission submit this is spec this specifies what element i will listen to be submitted because you could have two forms on the new entry template this would allow you to uh, select one in particular event.target gives you access to that form so event.target.reset will reset the fields of the form also you can do a query selector from that point uh, if you want to start from that from that node of the dom from that point and this makes it so that the page doesn't refresh and we are inserting that into our database.